hello foodies today we're gonna make one of my favorite things to make it's a family favorite i'm gonna show you guys how i make my spaghetti and meatballs so stick around all right so i'll be sure to list all the ingredients in the description bar so be sure to check it out but here i have some bread slices we're gonna mix it up with the milk and we're gonna make a paste this is going to uh help bind our meatballs and it's also gonna make it really juicy so i'm just tearing up the pieces of bread with my hands and we're going to add some milk and let the bread soak up the milk Alright, here I have two pounds of ground chicken and to that I'm going to add the bread that we soaked in the milk and once you add that I'm going to add all my seasonings. I added two eggs which is going to also help bind the meatballs, onions, peppers, um, onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, Italian seasoning paprika all the works as i said i'm gonna list everything in the description bar um just so that you have an idea of exactly what i used in my meatballs this is a parmesan here i also like adding a little bit of grated parmesan and once you add that i'm going to go ahead and incorporate all the ingredients together with my hands now i know somebody's going to comment make sure you wash your hands so that your hands are clean um yeah make sure your hands are clean make sure you wash your hands of course that's given but i feel like sometimes you still have to say it so you just go ahead and mix everything in Then I'm going to take um, little globs of the ground meat and roll them into balls. If you have an ice cream scoop, it would be perfect for this. Um, then you don't have to roll them with your hands, but I'm improvising here. Then I'm going to sear the meatballs in um, my pan with a little bit of avocado oil and I just want them to brown on each side. Um, I just want to give them a little bit of color and it's going to help them keep their shape too. And I'm just going to do that for a couple of minutes on each side, roll it over and just making sure you get a nice little color on your meatballs. Then I'm going to remove them so we can get started on the tomato sauce. Right, so typically i like using the six cheese ragu and i would get either the traditional or something that has basil or something in it all right i'm going to go ahead and add in one tomato that i cut up i'm just gonna saute this a little bit let it get a little bit soft then I'm going to add a couple of sprigs of thyme to add some more depth of flavor. We're just going to saute it out for a little bit. And then I'm going to add my sauce, my ragu sauces. And then I'm going to add 
back in the meatballs and you're going to let them sit in there and marry with the sauce for about 20 to 25 minutes or so. I did add a little bit of water to thin it out and then just I'm going to give it a little stir and I add a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar to balance off the acidity. I don't think I'm going to use the Simply brand of ragu again. This is my first time using the Simply um, kind and it's a little too acidic for me. It tastes like straight up ketchup and yeah, that's not a vibe I'm going for. Um, the six cheese is amazing and I said I just typically use a regular um other um tomato sauce so you're just going to go ahead and mix that in you're going to taste it make sure it's to your liking then you're going to add back your meatballs and let them marry for about 25 minutes or so you're going to let your meatballs cook down in your sauce and then you're done this is my favorite quick meal it's bomb everybody loves it and it's done in less than no time Alright, so our meatballs are done, you guys. Giving it the final taste test, making sure it's to my liking. And I like adding a little bit of the tomato sauce in my pasta. It helps it not stick up together. And yeah, I just like doing that. So yeah, I'm mixing in some of my sauce in with the pasta. Then you're going to plate it up, top it off with a little bit of parm, and you're done. This was so good, you guys. Don't forget to check the description bar. And as always, I'll see you lovelies in the next one. Later.